my impression, Jim, I know this will surprise you, but my impression is you're going to see a very significant increase in international effort in Afghanistan. Including, including in terms of uh, troops. troops? Yeah. Well, President Obama's first act was to send 17,000 more troops to Afghanistan, and then he followed it up a few weeks later with 4,000 more training troops, right. trainers, uh, 21,000 troops, and other countries are following suit. And after he appointed me to this job, about 15 nations created similar special envoys. We called it the fastest growing diplomatic club in the world. And uh, so, and the why is this happening? There, I think there are two reasons. I thought a lot about this. One is people recognize that Afghanistan is not like Iraq. This one matters to their own security in Australia, in Canada in the Netherlands, in Great Britain. And the second thing, and, and everywhere else, the second thing I think is Barack Obama himself. His leadership, his style, his willingness to engage people and listen to them, as he did at the NATO summit. I was over there with him. Uh, the NATO summit, uh, his, his, willing, his decision to de-emphasize Iraq is getting response from countries all over the world. And to me, this is the essence of American leadership. This is what our country's about, and, and it's been lacking for a number of years, and we've got it going now. This doesn't mean success is automatic, but it, but I, but it is a necessary condition, even if it's not sufficient, that you assert American leadership. And other countries are responding. It'll take a few more weeks, maybe months, to for it to become clear, but I can, I, I'm absolutely certain that you will see later this year, compared to what, ha what was in existence at the beginning of this year, a dramatic change in the degree to which international efforts are, are focused on Afghanistan and the degree to which they're working together. 